Paulo Costa has one of the most exciting fighting styles in MMA. Just headhunting here. Going to the oh, party. that's it. That's it. That's wow. It. Paulo Costa does it again. But it is his unique sense of humor and rather funny Photoshop skills that has made him a fan favorite. First, we have to take a look at the tragedy that made Costa into the eraser. Number 7. Paulo Costa's Early Life Costa grew up doing the thing that all Brazilian kids do, playing soccer. But if you ask his brother, Carlos Costa, he was never any good at it. But one thing Costa was good at was getting into trouble. As a kid, he often got into street fights, and one time he even had 20 kids looking to beat him up. Luckily, he was able to run away from that dangerous situation. Now, Costa's father, Carlos Roberto, worked many different jobs after failing to become a professional soccer player. His mother, Maria Augusta, hated watching her son get in trouble in the streets. But still, she wasn't a big fan of Paulo joining a Muay Thai class. Costa was nine at the time, and it was his brother Carlos's idea. Carlos himself tried to follow in his father's footsteps and play professional soccer, but ended up abandoning that dream for martial arts. In fact, Carlos would go on to become one of Costa's trainers down the road. But before we get there, a tragedy struck the Costa household. The main breadwinner of the family, their father, was diagnosed with throat cancer and passed away shortly thereafter. This changed Costa's life as he quit training in jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai and entered the workforce when he was 17. However, it was hard to deny that Costa had real talent in martial arts and his family gathered around him to give him a shot at pursuing his dream. Number 6. How He Started MMA Two years after abandoning martial arts, Costa found himself back in a jiu-jitsu gym. Again, it was his brother's idea, who was teaching classes as a purple belt and needed help. His brother took Costa under his wing, and soon he started competing and winning in jiu-jitsu tournaments. And Costa did so while working full-time to support his mother. He worked as a realtor and an IT teacher. He showed people how to use Microsoft programs like PowerPoint, Excel, and Word, and some basic maintenance. While in the real estate world, he was considered to be pretty good, and even sold a few properties to family and friends. Costa cites that this experience is the reason why he's able to talk comfortably in public setting. His work with IT was something he enjoyed doing, but it didn't leave him too much time to train properly. So his brother convinced his mother to help with the bills so Costa could go all in on his MMA dream for one full year. Now at the time, Costa was just 1-0. He wasted no time with this newfound freedom and added a few quick finishes to his MMA record. After this, he found himself on the set of the third season of The Ultimate Fighter Brazil in 2014. Now this would be a life-changing moment for Costa, even though he didn't win the show. Soon after that show aired, Costa joined the UFC. Number 5. Career Accomplishments Costa has an impressive MMA record of 14 wins and 2 losses. 12 of those 14 wins have come via stoppage. Round 2. Excellent combination. Oh! Oh, Which is why Costa has been such a fan favorite. He is must-see TV as more often than not, he will leave his opponents unconscious on the ground. Now those 14 wins include him winning a jungle fight middleweight title and four performance bonuses in the UFC. He was also rewarded round of the year honors for his epic fight against Yoel Romero. Now that win earned Costa a title shot and despite losing Costa has rebounded and set himself up for a potential title shot once again. As far as his UFC tenure goes, he has had four consecutive knockout finishes and competed against some of the best fighters to ever do it. And for his troubles, Costa has raked in quite a few big paychecks. Number 4. MMA Paydays For his first fight with the UFC, Costa made over $72,000. 50 of that 72 came in for a performance of the night bonus for knocking out Gareth McClellan. In his very next fight, Costa had to go down to $22,000 despite finishing his opponent. Things improved for his following fight against former UFC champ Johnny Hendricks. For this TKO win, Costa earned nearly $50,000. At UFC 226, Costa earned another $50,000 performance of the night bonus for his finish against Uriah Hall. Overall, he took home $110,000. Costa kept the bonus train going, earning a fight of the night $50,000 bonus for his win against Yoel Romero. 
and when added to his winnings, Costa earned $170,000 at UFC 241. However, he suffered his first loss afterward. Despite losing to Israel Adesanya, Costa made nearly $400,000 as the title challenger. He didn't get back into the win column following the Adesanya loss, and once again, Costa dropped the ball and even missed weight, which resulted in a $30,000 fine. He left Vegas with $70,000. However, he got back to his winning ways at UFC 278. Not only did he earn almost $140,000 for his win against Luke Rockhold, but netted another $50,000 bonus for having the best fight of the night. Costa has also marketed himself very well in recent years, which has blown up his social media. Number 3. Social Media Costa is active across YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. On YouTube, Costa has over 150,000 subscribers, and his channel has amassed over 15 million views. However, you might need to brush up on your Portuguese to fully enjoy the Costa experience on YouTube, as many of his stories are in Portuguese. But there is no need for Portuguese to enjoy Costa's training footage. Now, while on Instagram, Costa has nearly 1.5 million followers. There you can access his personal clothing line and even go to his OnlyFans account if you are super intrigued. If not, you can stick around the page and see his many hilarious memes and videos which have made him popular in recent years. While on Twitter, Costa has over 500,000 followers. Costa is very active on Twitter, responding to his fans and making fun of the other fighters. It's really his trolling ways that have endeared him to the MMA fanbase and shown his rather unique personality. Speaking of, number two, unique personality. Prior to his fight with Israel Adesanya, Costa was viewed as this Terminator figure who was put here just to fight. But since then, Costa has found a way to overcome the language barrier and connect to a much larger fan base through his memes, trolling, and hilarious photoshops. Those IT lessons are really paying off now, as Costa often makes fun of his opponents through Photoshop material with some pretty funny captions. He has even managed to build a gimmick around the fact that he looks like a superhuman. Everywhere he goes, Costa carries a bottle labeled Secret Juice, like Michael Jordan from Space Jam. Now this, along with his fun fighting styles, made Costa into one of the most popular fighters in the game. So no wonder he was happy with his pay, as Costa often brings more eyeballs to a fight than the main event itself. But still, over the years, Costa has amassed a nice net worth. Number 1. His Net Worth Costa has steadily increased his pay through his various wins and finishes. However, there have been a few hiccups, like losing back-to-back -back fights and missing weight. On top of that, Costa hasn't been too active in recent years as he has battled with the UFC for better pay. The fact that he's back competing must mean that he got the pay bump that he was looking for. On top of that, MMA managers tend to take a big chunk of the pay, and then there's the whole thing with taxes and paying your coaches. Costa had branched out of MMA and has several lucrative social media businesses, which is always nice. It is better to have more than just one stream of income. And with that being said, we would estimate that his net worth is somewhere between $1 and $3 million.